Everything about the M1A is a challenge. It's a challenge to build. It's a challenge to shoot with iron sights. It takes you back to a day when you were rewarded for a challenge. The M1A is a 308 gas-operated, magazine-fed, semi-automatic rifle. It's the civilian version of the M14 rifle. All right, now you just got these, these weapons. This is the best friend that you'll ever have. In 1957, the U.S. Army adopted the M14 as a service rifle. That means that you will take better care of this weapon than you will anything else that you own. The design of the M14 and its capabilities were so potent that it ended up replacing four other service rifles. It takes a skilled craftsman to build an M1A. The heart of it is the way the stock and the action go together. If you have parts that don't fit perfectly together, then when you fire that rifle, those parts move. So next time you fire it, the parts are in a different spot. And you don't have that consistency, your shots aren't consistent. That's where the hand fitting comes in. When you're hand fitting parts, you're trying to make everything as smooth as possible and eliminate variances so it cycles and has a very repeatable accuracy that way. There is a difference between parts fitting together and parts fitting together right. The M1A comes from an era when people still made things with their hands. Rather than just screwing parts together, you know, you put a little bit of yourself into that rifle every time you fit an op rod or headspace it. I think the M1A has stood the test of time because it is such a good rifle. And part of that is because of the way it's built. These rifles were made to battle tyranny all around the world. One thing I want you to keep in mind is this is your friend. Treat it that way. It takes a lot of work to build an M1A. I kind of find it hard to believe that there's still companies in the United States that can put that much effort into building a product. Huh. The M1A is an iconic symbol of Springfield Armory's commitment to American innovation and the defense of freedom and independence.